So here we are, not after a very long trip, at the delivery center of Zeker. I believe it is one of their um, two delivery centers in Shanghai. They also have a giant factory and headquarters uh, not very far from Shanghai in Zhejiang. This place looks and smells very new. Mini tells me that it was only opened uh, in December last year. So I'm here waiting for her with my EC6 part right behind this window. I hope that's not too offensive. Uh, I'm waiting for her for my test drive of the Zeker today. And we're going to show you what Zekers feel, drive, and look like. Uh, yeah. Oh, they have five different colors, black, white, gray, blue, like sky blue, and purple. Yeah. This one sells the best. The gray one, I like it. Check out the Zeker logo on the front of the car. It's got a little secret behind it. If you see an orange built within the frame, that means it's a four-wheel drive model. If it doesn't have an orange in the middle or slightly in the background, it's a rear-end wheel drive. Mm. Should interior color. So the interior of the Zeker comes in four different colors. Uh, let me recall my short memory. First one is gray, gray is standard color. Lapa, Lapa, Napa leather gray is a standard interior on the Zeker. There is also uh, like brown beige. And then there is light gray coupled with red seatbelt. There's also gray with green seatbelt. And then there is um, white color. Like uh, someone over there, because these cars are waiting to be delivered, an owner there ordered uh, dark blue seats, like the high part, and uh, white leather on the back. So you could actually mix the colors as you wish. Uh, and I guess that might come at an extra cost, but the gray standard is already looking very nice to me. Oh my god, you have no idea. Walking in this delivery center, seeing all the black and dark gray Zekers, I fully reverted my opinion about what it was before when I first saw a Zeker in the showroom. Uh, they actually look very, very nice on the outside. Uh, I really look forward to my test drive later. Another little detail here. A secret of Zeker is the city skyline of Paris. It's not just for decoration. It's actually the logo of the maker who produces these glasses. A uh, company is called Saint Gobain. What they do is they make uh, glasses that are adaptable to the speed, lighting, and different angles as you sit in a car for a better heads-up display experience. 
Let's talk about wheels. The wheels of Zikr come in four different uh, styles and the three different sizes. The sizes are 19, 21, and 22 inches. You could check the size of your tire from here. There's uh, right here, the size number. This is, so this is a 21 inch tire. Uh, they use Continental and Goodyear tires. Uh, what type you get is pure luck because they're of the same quality, same cost. So what you get is random from the production line. And uh, these are nice tires. That's what we use on our car. And the wheels come in four different styles. Uh, this is like more sporty, like radium. Uh, there's also uh, uh, ones that look like a blooming flower. Uh, I don't know exactly what their technical name is, but uh, this one so far is what I think looks the best. So as a final step, Mini introduces to me the mother company of Zeker, which is called Gilly, that also owns several other brands that make the car so shiny and so sporty. And I'm just so excited to do my test drive right now. Uh, the interior, obviously, we get is like brown, yellow on the light side. Mini started to introduce to me different functions on the screen. The thing that I need to adjust by tapping the functions first on the screen and then adjusting like the wheel uh, or my seat position on the knob. So this is like all entirely different from the EC6. Oh, touch board. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so adjusting the rear side mirror comes on this touch touch pad. It's actually got a little bit of tickling sensation here. Oh. Uh, 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 and then you, you press the button to change the side of the mirror. Yeah. And then you touch the pad to adjust the angle. Okay. Mm. Mm. Uh, going, going down, you use the left and the horizontal position. Going up and down, you use this. Okay, that, that's my comfort zone. Okay. 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 Mm. Okay. Well, Mini was teaching me how to adjust the wheels. So while I was adjusting everything, I could basically see all the operations from the heads-up display. We're going to start off with the comfort mode, which is what every test drive is like. So I hit the brake, change the gear. Oh, I like that this is like a, an oval stone. The oval stone refers to the gear, it's like a palm size. All right. My first drive with Zeker. It's kind of very stable. I like how the heads-up display just showed me uh, the, the procedures I was doing on the car. It was showing me that I was adjusting the wheel on the heads-up display right now before I started to move the car. So that's something that we don't have. Hmm. You can tell me how Okay. I can drive whatever way I want. <laughs> Mm. Mm. 
脚已经提掉对身材了，对对哦，然后这个上面是不显示的，对吧？对，对，是的，嗯、是的它 ，OK， 对它就是在这个键盘上会显示你现在是、嗯、是不是对的，你生产刹车，生产刹车。Okay. All the hot works when you press the brake really hard and deep when you pass the car, so it holds. But you won't see it on the heads-up display. But please be assured that it actually does that. I was just making sure because I can't see it、uh, right before my eyes. So we're now on the relatively road, road with relative less traffic. It seems like there's a lot of factories. So I'm gonna try sports mode later. Right now I'm on the comfort mode. This is one thing with smaller cars is that you actually get more ease with traffic. If I'm on a new, I must pause when the truck is driving in my direction. Because I don't know what's gonna happen. There's many blind spots. The car doesn't have many blind spots, except in the back, the right side, the left side, and the front are like very comfy for a person of relatively short size. I'm gonna take. 这边也可以试一下掉头。哦。它的转弯半径只有五点九。嗯。对于一个啊，可以可以试一下。你们发现刚才其实对对对对对，很舒服。对。它的转弯半距只有五点九，这也是它这款车做的比较好的，好的这个原因。虽然它的车大，它的车要四点九七，车长对，车宽要一米九九，但它的车身，它的车的转弯半距只有五点九，所以说相当于，呃，你平时的这些油车差不多是要在十二，嗯，相当于对了个折，就像 mini、嗯、mini 那种小的这种 cooper 一样，嗯，所以它的这个灵活度是非常高的，对对对。That's a very good metaphor. She just said, when you take a turn on the car, the effort you have to go of making the angle is relatively small compared to a big car. You have to like turn right first before you make a turn, just so that you don't have to take extra swerving of the wheel. But、uh, with this car, it's all very easy. I actually like that. I'm gonna take a U-turn and see how easy this car turns around compared to an SUV. I like it. I used to. My old car was a Mini, as you've seen in our previous video. This is like driving my Mini, except it's like、uh, more comfortable sensation because you get rid of all the gas odor. 我之前开的就是 Mini， 是吧？对，所以你会明显觉得这个车要比 Mini 大很多。我掉个头，对，它是大很多。This is actually a big car. It's、uh, like almost five meters long, two meters wide. But if you take a U-turn, see, that's very easy. Yeah, it's just like the Mini. In the Nia, you'd have to back up for me twice to take a U-turn. And some drivers are really not that friendly. They honk at you or just slam whatever. Like I'm a lady driver, and whereas they're just monsters. Uh, the heads-up display offers more information. Uh, 你的这个是现在这个车有自动驾驶吗？没有，没有。嗯，都是。但是它它会。那如果在标配的车上，它会显示旁边的这个车的，就是那个影像吗？会。啊、uh, 嗯。So OK， 哎，我们好像这没有灯啊，可以直接左转。So the smaller dashboard in front of my eyes shows more information than what you'd get if you don't have Neo Pilot.、Uh, right now on the screen, I could see the, just generally the meter, but I could see the two lanes and the traffic coming back and forth on the little screen. Without Neo Pilot, I don't have that. And I, we, I think we have to pay an extra thirty-five thousand for that. So this is standard on the Zeker. That's a plus. Ah, not so heavy. Okay. Okay. Another feature of the car is called one pedal control. That means controlling the speed of the car using your accelerator only. Uh, so by tapping on the pedal, you could race up or slow down at a more mild range than just using、uh, energy claim. What do you call that? 
rege regenerative break. <laughs> Uh, so with a regenerative break, the car actually breaks very sudden, like abruptly you came to a halt. But with one pedal brake, you just tap your foot on one pedal and it slows slowly down. Uh, I guess this is more compatible with city drive. In the heavy traffic, you get to use your leg uh, less by switching between the brake and the accelerator. 好了，我们现在试一下运动。对，感觉前面没什么车。I'm gonna try sports mode now. Okay. 稍微再等一下，那个车在掉头。嗯哼。Acceleration, as I hate to say, I'm not an aggressive driver, but this is one thing you know about EVs. Acceleration is always the key word. 100 kilometers acceleration on this car, the U version, meaning the top version, is 3.8 seconds. So I'm gonna try to accelerate a little bit and using my one pedal control to slow down. That was it. I'm not very aggressive. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look for other videos for racing Zeker on the track or whatever. Okay. So there are uh, seven driving modes on this car. The last one being customization, meaning you adjusting the AC and air suspension, regenerative brake, all that sorts of configuration is called customization. Besides that, the other six models are like comfort, economic, sports, uh, snow road, sand road, and uh, field, track field, or whatever, camping, bumpier road. So these configurations, one of their variation is air suspension. Uh, the air suspension on the Zeker comes in a range from 1 to 5, the lowest to the highest. But remember, you can't do lowest air suspension if you're driving at my speed under any mode the lowest air suspension comes into effect when you're driving beyond 120 kilometers per hour which is the speed limit of the chinese highway so think about doing that in europe but not in china mm, i like the 360 camera Okay, 前面掉个头，我们就可以回去了。好的，然后最后一个部分给你是看一下那个嗯车后备箱。嗯，好。Okay, 空间。Okay, look, okay, I'll just wrap up my test drive today. Very quick two minute walk through uh, of this interior of the car. The wheel actually feels more solid than what we have on the EC6. It's genuine leather. leather. As far as I know, all the interior on the, EC, uh, on the Zeker are made from Napa leather or genuine leather. What I wouldn't personally agree with is this decked design of uh, the front, the interior, the cockpit with a top layer and curved smaller dashboard. I like this dashboard. It's actually better because it's wider and it's like more, it works more like a phone when you just drag different apps uh, for your own customization. This comes in no reason as I just asked Mini because it's um, maybe just too much. And the Yamaha video built in here, which you have to pay at an extra cost, and all these like patterned design. Personally, I like the car, but it's got many two zigzaggy designs, including the curve here and the angle here. Everything is facing the driver, which is nice. That's what Peugeot does. Uh, so this is nice. It's almost uh, also got um, some considerable amount of buttons. Uh, it's got a very comfortable harm rest as there is no like step you have to feel like what, what we have on the EC6 there actually, there's actually a gap between the cup holder and the armrest so this is purely flat but um, I just can't make up my mind about the handle here like there's always like bumps somewhere uh, that you don't visually feel 
they're minimalist. The trunk space, like almost any EVs nowadays, has two levels with a board in between. So if you want to hide your secrets, you could come in here. Uh, this one is the top, toppest configuration of Zeker, so it's got air suspension. What you see here, the two uh, buttons here are actually the airbag that holds the string for air suspension. If you're not ordering air suspension, there's going to be more space in here because they take the air suspension away. And Mini just told me that you could hold a mini fridge in here for the summer. I'm here again. Another trick I'm going to show you on this zicker is how do you lay down the back seat? There's actually a trigger you could pull from the trunk instead of pulling a trigger here like people would normally do. So that's very convenient. For example, if you're moving the furniture and you don't have extra hands to come over to the side door, just pull it from the back. So, how do you like Zeker so far? Zeker, which just came out last year, relies on a giant motor company called Geely, which also owns Volvo, Lotus, and Lincoln Co. So, with that short span from where it's incubated to where it's right out here in the shop, it takes a very short time just because it's a traditional car making company. They know every detail about how to make cars. But maybe just because of that, the traditional factor, its interior design kind of smells like an old person's idea for a young person's car. It's kind of too much for a young person. However, Zeker is positioned to appeal to the Chinese young market, the new middle class from 30 to 40, 50 years old. Will Zika appeal to this group in China or anywhere in the world? Let's wait and see.